I was so angry with him. Why wouldn't he fight? We had so many followers by this time and so many were in Jerusalem by now. Why did he insist on this blessed are the meek stuff? I think all along I had hoped that this was finally the revolution. That we would finally stand up to the Roman Empire. That we would finally kick the occupiers out of our land. And he had such power and charisma. Couldn't he have done anything? The Son of God! I suppose I finally got too bitter. I had kept it all inside for some time and had begun to boil and rage. If I couldn't get my revolution, maybe I could just get out. I was tired of holding the purse for this motley group of followers. And they would give away money as soon as it came in. And then I discovered I could get some money from the dirty Romans and get out. That's kind of ironic. It happened so fast. They approached me quietly. They had seen me, watched me, perhaps read my indecision, my anger, my growing distance from the group. And it just happened. And then there I was at the table, his table, knowing what I had set in motion. All of a sudden I was flooded with panic as we all sat here with the air heavy with fear and unknowing. At the table again, it reminded me of all the meals we had together. Sometimes just us, the small band of disciples, but often with someone Jesus had invited to the dinner. Someone we couldn't believe he was sharing a meal with. Ugh, sometimes it was just hard to understand. People that took advantage of others, people who were against us, people who questioned him, people who were beneath him. He invited to this table, the bottom feeders. Oh, the bottom feeders. And then I realized as he stretched out the cup of wine to me and dipped the bread in it and named me as the betrayer that he was doing it again, only this time it was me, the bottom feeder. He was offering to share the cup and break the bread with an unworthy man, a traitorous man. No matter who we are, no matter what we've done, he always invites us in. He offers us bread. He offers us wine. Mercy is his true nature. And I realized in that moment that love was the biggest force for change. He would never have led a violent revolution that I had dreamed of. He led through the transformation of love. He loved us all, even the lowest of the low, the bottom.